Hello guys and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 quick tip video where we'll talk about how to be efficient with your recipes when it comes to sharing machine. You know every interface can hold nine patterns and once you use them up to a machine for example if you have your furnace like this and you have an interface like this. They will be spit into this uh, furnace and then they will sent back and into the network again somehow. And when this is filled up, well then you perhaps you will do like this and it's nothing wrong with it, but if you want them to share, you can actually do that and be more efficient. So here we have one interface here as a receiver and we have five sides with interfaces to hold the patterns. I haven't used one on the bottom, but you can have on all sides except the output side. So here I can have nine. I'm mean, just have <laughs> I just have one brick here from clay, and here I have iron ore, but you can have eight more. We have stone on this side and gold on this side. So I'm just using four of the 45 possible. And on this side, we can have a machine to receive the item. So this might look, I built another structure here, but I only hooked up one machine. All right. So let's order something. Let's order 10 of the irons. They will end up here, everyone, and they will be sent back to an interface to get back into the green network, the main network. And you see them ending up there. And if we order two things at the same time, like this, we'll first get the iron and then after some time we will get the gold. Perfect. So this works just fine. You can have a four, oops, 45 recipes to a single machine but perhaps it's better to use more machines so we have one channel here that means we can have seven more interfaces or seven more storage buses without using a controller you can have 31 more uh, but then you need a controller and this will work just the same so if we order 20 of these and then 20 of 20, 30 of these, then you can see they will end up in one each. Note that this will not divide them equally as we did in the tutorial I had over here some time ago, where we had load balancing, where the system will put one in each to make them as fast as possible. So this is not really the same, it's not doing the same, it's not the purpose either. But you will be efficient in that they can share the machine with even more recipes. So if you have an expensive machine or something like that, then you only need one and you can hold 45 recipes for it. Another way to do this, uh, to give a good example, is to do the processors. So here we have a similar setup, one interface that holds our three patterns and we have the interface as a receiver. We have a few storage buses, exactly as I had over there, but these are formatted with silicon down here, gold, pure surface and diamond up here. And that will correspond to the presses, silicon press, logic press and so on. Once they are done, they will be imported into the red, red network. They will import anything and they will be stored over here. So we have a storage bus here, here and up here. And the redstone, well, here's the redstone. Redstone goes into this interface and it will be stored over here and then the presses the, the silicon down there and then 
the printed circuits up here. So let me demonstrate by doing this. These will end up in one each and this one will be waiting and then we'll get the, the product. And here we're just setting it back to an interface. And the smart thing with this is that it's only one interface to hold all patterns. I think I've done this before a really long time ago where I had one interface for each and every one or something like that. I can hardly remember it was so long ago. But this is a smart way to do it to save your channels on this side. Only one channel to make all these three recipes. All right, I hope this is useful for you. I got a question about it and it seems like I have never covered it exactly like this. So hopefully you'll find it useful someday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.